now in our previous video we have understood different kind of values we can give for type attributes okay we have seen we are having text email password color button date everything we have seen here we are having image number search reset week url everything we have seen now now we are going to see some of the input attributes okay what attributes we can use in our input fields okay now here i'm just going to comment this entire thing now below this i'm just going to create another form I'll just create the form action I'm just going to remove because we are not submitting any data now inside this I'm just going to create one input field type is equal to text now first attribute is value now here I'm just going to write here Khanam I'll save this and before that by default I'm just going to create another input field type is equal to text I'll just add one break here I'll save this I'll just come here this everything we have seen I'll refresh this one now you can see here I'm having the empty data I don't have any data but here the value is fixed I can just remove this one and I can insert some other value okay by default the value I'll be getting as Khanam okay this is the value attribute inside input field now next let me just copy this and here I'm just going to paste now below this okay inside this itself now here I'm just going to add another input field type is equal to text next attribute is placeholder now here I'm just going to write here enter your name okay this is going to give some placeholder I'll refresh this you can see this is the placeholder when I type this it is going to go but value I have to remove or else it is going to append this one value I have to remove I have to insert this one but for placeholder if I just write something that placeholder will go and the value whatever I am writing that will come okay we are having placeholder we are having value next let me just paste here break next we are having disabled I'm just going to write here input field type is equal to text you can give any type here I'm just going to write here disabled okay by the name itself we can understand that will be disabled I cannot insert or I cannot type anything here okay that is disabled and also for buttons it is very very useful let me just write here input and type is equal to button and value let me just write here value is equal to submit and here I'm just going to write here disabled okay before that let me just write here another button I'm just going to remove disabled from here I'll save this I'll refresh this one now you can see this button is clickable but this button is disabled okay you can just use this disabled okay whenever we have not filled all the data we should not click on submit button till then the button will be disabled once we are done with filling all the data only then this button will be enabled okay this is how we can do we are having this disabled next okay you can write either like this or you can just write like this okay disabled okay both will work but inside xhtml we will be following this rule okay based on your requirement you can use but mostly it is suggested that we have to follow this rule i'll just copy this and here i'm going to paste now below this we are just going to see another attribute i'll just write here input and here i'm just going to write here maximum length maximum length i'm just going to give here 10 i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here you can see only 10 characters I can type even if I type here I cannot write only 10 digits only 10 characters I can write and this will be very useful whenever you are writing mobile numbers okay for mobile numbers if you just want to insert only 10 digits then you can just give the maximum length and also we are having minimum length minimum length okay when you are doing simple validation you can give the minimum length as 10 and maximum length as 10 okay which means that my minimum length only 10 digits I have to enter and it should not exit more than 10 okay so here let me just refresh this okay minimum length will also be 10 and maximum length will also be 10 we are having minimum and maximum and we have seen about multiple attribute as well now here i'm just going to add break and break and here below this i'm just going to write here input type is equal to file and here i'm just going to write here multiple okay which will allow me to select multiple images you can see here i'm having this one now here i just have to click on this shift shift and i can select multiple images all the images will be selected and you can see five files are been selected now here if i just don't give here multiple i'll just remove this multiple from here i'll save this i'll just close this one i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having this now when i click on this now even if i click on the shift button i cannot select multiple images i can select only one image and that image will be displayed but here i have given multiple i can just select multiple images only by clicking shift and dragging that one and all the files will be selected okay this is all about multiple attribute let me just copy this and here i'm just going to paste okay next we are having read only now here i'll be writing input field inside this i'm having this type is equal to text let me just write here placeholder enter enter your address okay here i have given another thing i'm just going to copy and here i'll just write here read only i'll save this 
I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I can enter, but here I cannot insert, okay, because it is read only and whatever data I'm having here, I can only read that one. Now if I just give here value, value I'm just going to give, value is equal to, let me just write here Mysore. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see I cannot insert, even I cannot remove that one, okay, because it is read only, I can only read this one. I cannot modify this one if I give read only, but here I can modify. Okay, this is all about read only attribute. As I told you, you can write like this or you can write like this. Read only. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. And even it is going to work in the same way. Okay, I cannot type anything here. I cannot modify that input field if I give here read only. Then we are having pattern attribute. Below this, I'm just going to write here input field. And inside this type is equal to text. And here I'm just going to give the pattern. And inside this, I'm just going to write here capital A capital a to z and also small a to z small a to z okay this pattern i have to insert and also i can insert only three digits or four digits okay for country code you can use this one okay whenever you want to give code for any country then you can use this pattern attribute and you can give any pattern and then we are having required let me just come here input field type is equal to text and here we are having required let me just remove this and here i'll be writing required if you have not added any kind of javascript validation and if you click on submit the data will be inserted but if you just give a required attribute without filling that input field you cannot insert the data okay let me just come here i'll refresh this okay now here i'm having this input field before that inside this action for form i'm just going to give the action action let me just write here data dot html I'll save this and also here I have given the required. Now here I'm just going to give input type is equal to submit. Submit. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now when I click on the submit button, you can see it is going to tell me please fill out this field. Without filling this, I cannot give submit button. Okay, I cannot click on submit button. Okay, the field is required. So I have to give some value inside that. Then next we are having autofocus. Let me just come here. I'll be adding two breaks here below this i'm just going to write here input field okay type is equal to text uh, let me just refresh this now you can see no field is selected as soon as i give here auto focus auto focus let me just remove this auto focus i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see by default this field will be selected it is going to focus on this input field and i can just insert that data whenever i refresh that wherever i give this auto focus that field will be selected for me Okay, we have seen about list attribute as well input okay, let me just remove this one and here we are having list list is equal to states okay we have already seen this one now this list attributes whenever we are using data list like this data list and inside this we have to give the id let me just write here data list data list and inside this id whatever list i have given here i have to copy and i have to paste the same thing here now inside this i can just give some options options i can just write here mysore mysore and below this i'm just going to write here karnataka i'll refresh this one now you can see whenever i click on this i will be getting mysore and karnataka as my option okay this is how we can use here list attribute we are having this autofocus list attribute then finally we are having autocomplete attribute now here let me just write here break now below this i'm just going to write here input field okay this is the normal text i'll just show you the output i'll refresh this now whenever i click on this okay by default i'm not getting but if okay whenever you click on this you don't want any email id should be displayed to any user you can just write here auto complete let me just write here auto complete auto complete is equal to off or on okay based on your requirement you can give if you give auto complete is equal to off okay it will not give you any suggestion you have to type by yourself if you just give here on okay by default it will be on you don't have to give on okay whenever you click on this it will be giving you some suggestions here now i am not getting any suggestions because i have not inserted any data when you submit any data inside the database by default it will be giving you the suggestion if you don't want to display that suggestion you can just off this one okay this is all about different kinds of input attributes let us just revise whatever we have done we are having type is equal to text okay this is the type attribute we are having value okay it will be giving the default value we are having placeholder okay, using this placeholder it will be giving us the hint what we have to do we are having this disabled okay it will disable the input field mostly it is used in submit buttons 
we are having uh, okay you can see for button i have used here disabled is equal to disabled we are having this maximum length and minimum length okay this maximum length and minimum length is mostly used for mobile numbers we are having this multiple using this we can select multiple files we are having this placeholder we are having this read only and using this read only we can only read the data we cannot modify any data we are having this pattern attribute when we are using this pattern attribute we can give any country code we are having this required once we give this required without filling this one we cannot submit the data we are having this auto focus whenever we load that one this input field will be auto focused we are having this list attribute if we are using this data list we have to use this list attribute if this value is matching with this one only then we will be having this drop down then finally we are having this auto complete okay based on your requirement you can on or off this is all about basic attributes inside input fields Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.